Kathy Clement with Kathy by Design and I'm here today to share my Graphic 45 3x3 three three challenge project. The challenge this time was to use any pocket and tag album along with pockets and tags and an 8x8 eight eight collection. So I went through and found that I had one whole pad of the gorgeous fairy dust collection. I combined that with the butterflies, tags, and pocket album, and of course the tags and pockets that go with fairy dust. So this sweet little album is, let's measure it, six by six, and it has so many pages in it. It was a real challenge to use just those items plus flowers and ribbon to make this lovely little album. So I added a little mixed media effect here, um, just heat embossing with antique gold, Stampendous antique gold embossing powder. And then I did some fussy cutting, used the wonderful square tag and clock dies, which I'm addicted to these, you guys. Look, you can just use the outer ring as a doily, and isn't it beautiful? It makes a doily frame. So for the fairy wings, I just fussy cut around those, lifted them through and up over the frame just to add that extra bit of dimension, then tucked in some flowers that I found in my stash, this pretty um, hyacinth um, stitched uh, satin ribbon, some gold metallic string. I raised, I'll turn this on the side so you can see it's really dimensional. Um, I raised this up with, um, waste chipboard and foam tape and then added this button from my stash on the spine i added a couple of little border strips and then just tucked this little fairy image from one of the papers inside so inside the album the challenge here was filling this entire album using just one eight by eight um, pad of fairy dust so i had to get creative and Sometimes creativity leads you to wonderful discoveries. Which what I discovered was you can use the Graphic 45 Decades inks to add wonderful mixed media effects directly to the papers. So I used both the French Lilac and the Precious Pink. I just sponged this on with a blending tool, then spritzed it lightly with water, and I got this wonderful background so I could use small pieces of paper as photo mounts. The other thing I did was use every bit, including the packaging. These fun little tags are um, part of the cutout on the packaging. So I just cut these out, covered them with designer paper, some little stamps, a little flower. Here's one of the little pockets and tags, and then tucked it into this pocket in the front. So very, um, every bit of Graphic 45 can be used in a project, and I love that. So we'll just flip through this quickly. Um, here's a tag and pocket. This is a fun way to use it. Just glue this edge down and you've got an instant hinge. So you can add journaling on the back, hidden journaling, and then a photo here. So some of the pages I actually was able to cut the five and three quarter by five and three quarter squares. And then I covered, I used that wonderful square tag and clock dies set to cover these square tags that come with the album. And that just took a second, and you can put a photo here, a photo here, and you can tuck photos in the pockets. And you can see, you can finish the pages simply, cover the pocket, add a border strip. Um, then in the, there, each pocket page also has a side pocket. And for these side pockets, I just cut, and this one's stuck in there, hold on. I cut photo mounts, and then using the center portion of the square, um, tag and clock die, I made a little pull tab for my photo mounts. Isn't that fun? So you can find lots of ways, and then this keeps that from falling into the pocket, and it kind of looks cool on the side too. You can find lots of different ways to use that square tag and clock die. I love it. Just another page, photo mounts. This is just kind of a pretty page. You can add a small photo here. Um, and again, you can see the distress the inking that I did on the back. Here's another inked page, room for a small photo, journaling here. 
Um, here's a little tuck, a flip page, a flap page with a photo mount. Here we go. I use this. You can also use that square tag and clock die set to create circular frames. So you could put a circular photo in here. Isn't that fun? Another little pocket. Another set of those pull-out photo mounts. And those are, if I remember correctly, they're pretty good sized. I think they're five by five. Yeah, five by five. So you can put large photos there, four on each one. And then look, here's another way to use that square tag and clock die set. Um, the little flourish makes wonderful photo corners. A little journaling spot here, border strip. Here is just a decorative pocket that I use just the clock face cut from gold paper with photo mounts tucked in the side. And then a little pocket and tag used very traditionally but only glued at the bottom so that the photo can be tucked here. Another one of those circular frames. Another room for a small photo or journaling tag. And you can see some of the pages. I just inked the edges just to change things up so it's not boring. Um, another one of these, another little pocket with one of the little cut aparts stuck in. And of course, you can put photos in there as well. Again, only glued um, at the bottom. Another little envelope with a little journaling tag, and again, glued at the bottom so the photo can go behind. Here I just dressed up the tag a little bit with a frame cut from white cardstock, a gold clock face, and one of the little cut apart images, room on the back for a photo or journaling, and of course, more room in the pocket. I love how this ink reacted with water. That was exciting to see. I didn't know you could do that with Decades ink, but now that I know it, I'll do it a lot more. Here's just a little mirror page for small photos, room for journaling, um, a little flap that I made. Just I used every scrap. <laughs> there was nothing left of this 8x8 collection when I got done. So you can see just lots of fun little ways to use this. This was a great challenge. Here I ran a piece of paper through the buckle just to make a cute border treatment. Um, it's kind of fun to challenge yourself to use limited supplies from time to time. It, um, it's amazing the things you think of when you, when you have to be creative. Again, I love how this um, tag and clock die frame works as a doily. And then just an empty pocket, another flip down, and here we are at the last page. So I did this in a day. I did the whole thing in less than a day. So by keeping the pages all very similar, keeping the design very um, straightforward, it was a lot of fun to do. I hope I've shared some tips and tricks and ideas with you that you can use in your own crafty adventures. Um, Thanks for joining me, and I'm going to go.